Hey everyone, it's Jay. And Sean. And Sean. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy is right, because today we've got a triple header for you. That's three movies newly released on Netflix. And they have a strange and interesting link. So, um, I don't know if you've heard about the Petaluma, California Cinematic Universe. <laughs> no, I hadn't heard about that. Uh, it's uh, the new thing on Netflix. All the kids are talking about it. Tell me more. Okay, well, nobody's talking about it. That's <laughs> what we should probably say. Number one, nobody's talking about it. Number two, nobody will, outside of this video. <laughs> Um, I don't know what's going on in Petaluma, California. They have quite a chamber of commerce, I'm guessing. They are working overtime to attract movies down there. Not good movies, mind you. Um, but the, all three of these movies, and we did not do this on purpose whatsoever, but all three of them were shot in Petaluma, California. And I think two of them are even set there. At least two of them are. Yes. So, uh, yes, I mean, there's a, a big film division there that's, they must have some major tax credits or, I don't know, good for them. I mean, clearly. It's close to Napa Valley. Maybe that's part of the draw. <laughs> well, it's not not part of the draw. Okay, so let's start with Lady Driver. Yeah, terrible title. Of course, it's a terrible title. I mean, it's 2020, there is no excuse for that. We're just called drivers. You can even call us better drivers if need be, but never lady drivers. Um, so this movie is about a 16 year old girl who's running away from home because she just doesn't get along with her mom and her stepdad. And she runs away to her uncle Tim who has been estranged from the family at least ever since, well, I was gonna say ever since her dad died. And that might be true, but her dad died before she was born. So <laughs> she has never. perhaps never met this man. I think it is clear she has never met this person. Mm -hmm. She got one letter from him one time by accident. Well, her mom was trying to prevent it. Anyway, yeah. part of the story. Yes. So um, she decides to move in with him and work in his auto body shop where she finds under a tarp, a dusty old tarp that's obviously been hanging around this whole time just for this occasion, a race car. Not, a, not like a NASCAR race car. No, a beat you up know. old dirt track racer. Yes, it's a different kind of racing. <laughs> um, but she uh, convinces her Uncle Tim to let her race it. Without too much trouble, really. No, I mean, yeah. I don't think he really is keen even on having her around, but since she's here and he has a bit of a drinking problem, he just kind of lets her do whatever she wants. She's a very persuasive 16-year-old girl. Um, so yeah, um, she drives and she's very competitive and she wants to win. And then her mother shows up and ruins everything because her dad died racing cars. Which she didn't know. She didn't know. So, you know, it's a good reason for her mom to be against this. Anyways, is it a good movie? No. No, it's not. It's not a particularly good movie, no. It's not the worst movie, but it's not a good movie. It's not a good movie. It's like a Hallmark movie. Yes. Only not about Christmas, about <laughs> dirt track racing. Mm-hmm. And ladies. Right, lady dirt track racing. Did you racing. know ladies could drive? Well, no one else knows that on the circuit. <laughs> I know. It's disgusting. Anyways, it's not the worst movie you could watch. But yes, it, it's clearly not like a Hollywood quality film. It does feel like something that was made for TV. And it is shot in Petaluma, California. Uh, now, a link that we made was the next film we'll talk about, about is called Roped. So it's about Petaluma, California. The councilman of Petaluma, California is a staunch vegetarian and he's super into animal rights. So when the rodeo tries to come to Petaluma, California, he he's convinced them, yeah, he wants to shut it down. So it's a big like us versus them. I mean, no, yeah, it's a- These animal abusers who wanna have this, uh, 
festival of cruelty mm -hmm. on their door on their back door yes not gonna happen right that's right but what inconvenient thing happens his daughter falls oh, in love with God. one of the rodeo Can guys you imagine? yes yeah actually yes <laughs> yes um so is this a good movie no 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 it's not no better or worse than lady driver that's a good question yes it is probably worse okay what do you think i'd say worse um interestingly though uh casper van dien it plays the councilman and it is his daughter who plays the lady driver he's Whoa. fallen a long way from starship troopers <laughs> back then he was such a young reckless pup and now he's just this stuck up vegetarian who has no time for fun uh -huh. or americana anything yeah well he may come around i guess you have to watch the movie to find out to find out although as sean put it so well they are pro animal rights not so much women's rights no so i guess this is how <laughs> lady driver also exists in petaluma california <laughs> they, uh, yeah oh no it, it, the daughter here must is not allowed to go out or have thoughts or eat meat eat meat <laughs> that's right and she, yeah, she even thinks about having a burger or kissing a boy oh it broke her father's yes. heart yeah okay so third and i believe last Hopefully. <laughs> among these no i mean like ranking <laughs> oh okay <laughs> yeah then definitely yes so it is called the stand at paxton county okay thank you so this one is based on a true story so, so loosely like yes, it's unbelievable insanely loosely <laughs> so, as loose as you can get basically um so it's not set in petaluma because it has to be in a ranch in paxton county yeah well of course especially when you slap that title on it <laughs> um so it's about uh a bill that is passed in ranching country in north dakota no yes. south dakota but uh, not just there this is where the story takes place but this is happening in other ranch places too guys so a bill is passed that seems on the surface to be really about it again animal rights uh and this these movies are made by like save the harvest so they do have an agenda a little bit and they don't even try and hide it in this one no oh of course not no it is very it's political and it is very one-sided yeah there's an animal rights group that is just like the illuminati yeah they they're are super like vilified. behind everything yes. they're corrupting <laughs> sheriffs and veterinarians and mm -hmm. town councils mm -hmm. oh it's amazing yes well you've gotten a little ahead of things sorry so we should mention that yes it is about ranchers uh, the the bill that's passed is it looks like it's for animal rights but really it gives um the ability to anyone to make an anonymous complaint and then on the word of a single vet and a single assessment, all of the animals can be removed. You'll take your cattle. Can be seized. And horses, not just cattle. That's true. Your livestock. Yes. Um, and so this movie was just pointing out how, yeah, how corrupt this bill can be. And a company who has made a lot of money seizing livestock and reselling it because in fact, they're not that sick or abused but yeah they're definitely in cahoots with some pretty corrupt sheriffs christopher mcdonald yes shooter way. mcgavin uh-huh you should have known yeah. don't make shooter mcgavin your sheriff <laughs> <laughs> it took me a little minute i when i first saw him i thought it was him but then i thought no i mean you know we haven't seen him in a while we're all so getting it was older. like mm -hmm. is it isn't it it looks a lot like him it's him it is him yes so uh uh, there's an old guy who has maybe a stroke or some sort of event and his ranch is you know in disrepair he hires a rancher to help him out who disappears in the middle of the night and so his ranch is in disrepair and so very vulnerable to this new bill and then so his daughter has to come home very reluctantly 
She's a medic in the army. She's so, overseas. She's yeah. in a hot spot. She's got, yes, she's got far to travel. She is there against her will, but sees that it is necessary to help out because there's some shady stuff going on. Oh, there is. There's so much. Yeah. I mean, Shady is putting it super mildly because then, like, the action takes over and uh, she sees more action on the ranch than she did in Iraq. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, I think it spins away from the true story aspect. Yeah, I looked uh, up the true story. Uh-huh. It is nothing like this. <laughs> okay, well, don't, the, don't spoil it for the folks. Okay, I will just say mm -hmm. the true story mm -hmm. consists of... There was this type of legislation mm -hmm. and a false complaint was made. Okay. That's it. Oh boy. None of this other stuff. So uh -huh. even if you were familiar with this true story, this movie is going to have a lot of twists and turns. Like a lot. Mm -hmm. Like ones that will have your head spinning because oh they make boy. no sense. No. <sighs> well, even though like the movie is extremely sympathetic to the rancher and completely vilifies the animal rights people. Um, I did still feel a little bit like this movie is pretty one-sided and... <laughs> well, even from the start, they, they're like so upfront about it when they have like the person's driving and there's like the news on the radio and even the news hates this uh, piece of uh, this law that's come in where they're like, this is so bad. Mm -hmm. This should never have happened. They're really not at all mm -hmm. trying to say that th there is any positive of this. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, is that the one you liked the least, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Like, it this just, one is just... It goes out of control. It's too much. Mm -hmm. it, it It's not a parody, but it <laughs> might as well be. The other two, at least, they're not good movies, but they work as movies. Mm -hmm. You're not distracted by this just one-sided point of view that's just being hammered into your head. The other two, on their face, you can just have a little romance between a, a, a counselor's daughter and a rodeo guy. Yeah, or, they're called cowboys. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry. He does call himself that. Yes, I'm <laughs> sorry, Mr. Cowboy. Yeah. So they are very lifetime type of movies. Which, I mean, you might be in the mood for. Uh, you know, it's good for a fruity bottle of wine and uh, watching it by yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a mindless kind of movie. But The Stand is... Yeah. Don't watch that one. <laughs> yeah. That the one other maybe. two are like kind of guilty pleasures, I guess, or just something to do. The stand of Paxson County is just too much. Mm -hmm. It's just annoying. Mm -hmm. So I guess now we should be combing through Netflix for more Petaluma. See what else happens yeah. with their favorite. Maybe they'll start making appearances or mention <laughs> yeah. about the lady driver. Or... Yes. Well, the crazy thing is, is that um, Casper Van Diem, who was the councilman in the rodeo movie, also played the dead father in Lady Driver. Oh, just in the photos? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he is that girl's real father. Oh, but that doesn't work. Uh, well, it is tough for the shared drivers. So. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Although there have been some people in the MCU that have played two that different is, roles yeah, or probably, changed yes. out. It doesn't always. And who knows where we are in the multiverse. So. Also, time travel. Yeah, there's exactly. a lot of ways we can get, are get we around pre -snap, this. Are we pre-snap, post-snap? Yeah. So, I mean... Don't snap around the cattle. That's the only thing ranchers get upset. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what we've discovered. Have you watched any Petaluma movies? There may be more. These are just three that we randomly stumbled upon. Accidentally. Off. They are all three of them newly released to Netflix. So it is, it's not a coincidence. This is a, a thing. Tell us. Tell us yeah. if you found more and yes. we will definitely watch them. We are on board with yes. this shared universe. <laughs> That's right. Okay, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye!